All right, guys, so I'm going to show you Max. Max is a, is a very beautiful German Shepherd. He's a one-year-old puppy. Um, as you can see, he's huge. He's got big, big feet. Um, of course, his x-rays, hips, elbows, spine, all clean. Um, and this dog has extreme drives, really, really intense for the ball, really, really intense hunting drive. He's got fantastic grips, and he's a brave dog. There's nothing he won't go over, through. Um, you know, I really like working with, uh, with courageous dogs like him, high drive, high charging dogs like him, but he's very stable. Like good German Shepherds are, he's very stable. He has a very nice temperament and personality. Um, you know, and, and there's so much upside with him because he's still growing, he's still developing. So the second I saw him and then the second I, I worked him and tested him, um, I immediately purchased him because I, I knew that he was gonna become a, a special dog. Not only obviously from a looks perspective, but from um, a, a working drive perspective. Really, really nice dog. All right, guys, so we're gonna do a, a little bit of bite work with Max, put him up in the bite box, make some, uh, some grips with him. We're doing some grip development with him, um, just building him up, getting him nice and strong. So uh, you guys can watch us do a session of that. Because he's so brave, I've already started introducing alternate stressors with him. So things like, you know, using the fend-offs and preparing him for, you know, all sorts of uh, environmental and, and physical stressors in the bike work because he's already super uh, oriented to, to do it. So I'll just show you guys a little bit about what we're doing. You guys can get a good feel for who and how Max is. He likes to put that sleeve all the way in his mouth. Very good, natural gripping dog. Very confident in the work, especially for being such a green puppy. He barely knows how to bite a sleeve, you know? Good boy, yes. Oh! You can just see, it's just a really, really strong dog. This dog, for sure, dual purpose police dog. Easily an executive level dog. Fantastic, fantastic dog. Ah, and he's, boy. Once he gets out of the puppy stage, it's gonna be a very intimidating looking dog. And he's for sure a dog I'd go into a dark alley with. Good job. Hold on. Grab the plastic. This sleeve has plastic guards. We have to trade sleeves right now for Max because he doesn't out yet. And he grabbed the plastic, which is not pleasant to grab, and he immediately fixed his grip instead of getting all weird like many dogs would do. Ah! Good boy. Good shot. Good shot. especially young guys like him. And um, as you can see, you know, keep him forward. You can really do that stuff with him. Like he's, he's, he's not worried about it. He's trying to figure it out, but he's not worried about it. He's forward, he's active. And if you could feel your arm in this, he's really compressing that sleeve. Once he's, you know, 
good six months older. Like there's gonna be so much more power here. It's gonna be maybe I, a little bit scary. Oh, like he's already from where he was just like three days ago to how he's countering now. It's amazing how much better, how much better he is. Ah, he just, you know, he's really on the top tier of dogs in my opinion. Top tier dog. He might be a one percenter when he grows up. I wouldn't be shocked. Good, he's done. So as you can see guys, look at the size of his paws. Like he's gonna be so much bigger. It's not even funny. Like he's, there's so much dog here. I'm really happy with Max. He's an exciting dog. Very nice dog. Yeah, Max. Yeah, Max. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Max. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Max. Look at those paws. Good job. And, and this is the big thing too, guys, is like I'm really showing you the raw dog. I'm not showing you the dog after training, right? A lot of people don't understand. You know, the raw material really dictates how far you can go in the training. And this is the type of raw material I like to have in a dog when I'm preparing a high level protection dog. Okay guys, so this is Jax. Jax is a really nice German Shepherd that we brought back from Holland. Uh, he's real easy with the handler and uh, he has really nice natural gripping behavior and tons of drive. And he's also really nice to look at. So uh, I believe he comes from Slovakia originally. So he's a, he's a real nice dog. I think you guys. Compressible sleeve, so they can actually compress it about your arm a little bit. So as you can see, he's got grips for days. I would say with um, Jax is he's handler sensitive. So it's good in that it makes him really easy to control, but in the beginning, he takes about a week to bond with the new handler. So prior to that, it's not that he's dangerous, it's just that he's, he's not gonna trust you 100% to be giving 100% in the work. So that's one thing we notice with him, is he needs to bond with the handler for a week to be at 110% and willing to do stuff. Nice, very nice gripping dog. And he's a dog that would be very safe with a green handler, just because, like I said, he's not a jerk. He's a very nice dog to handle. He wants to have a relationship with you, right? So there's definitely a big market for those kinds of dogs. Good job. 